Well, it is a moment so many people in Surfside Beach, really all over the Grand Strand, have been waiting for. That new Surfside Beach fishing pier is finally open to the public. Our Julia Richardson explains why locals aren't only excited about the landmark, but also what's on it. Almost eight years ago, Hurricane Matthew destroyed this pier, leading to a complete rebuild. As of Thursday night, it is open to the public, and residents, town officials, and business owners tell me it feels surreal. An exciting moment almost eight years in the making for residents. I think it's awesome that it's finally opened up. I've heard a lot of stories of this and that and whatever, and I think it's cool. Businesses. It was surreal. It was just so... We were so happy, so excited. And town officials. Just watching the, the flood of people go up the steps and up the ramp, in the elevators. Um, really, really a pleasure to watch. The Surfside Beach Pier is back open just in time for the town's 60th birthday. This pier is, uh, I think, a great way to start the next 60 years of Surfside Beach. With the opening of the pier came the opening of Drippy's Ice Cream. We're just really happy to be open. There was a great turnout. There's a ton of people. More businesses like Whistling Duck and Surf Diner will soon join the shop. Suzanne and Randy Laney say they used to live in Surfside Beach full time and remember when Hurricane Matthew destroyed the pier. They tell me when they heard the news about it being open, they had to come see it. We were here during the hurricane when it broke down and we just watched the whole process of it being built and today's the day. It's just so beautiful. And Randy says he's more confident about this one lasting. I love the concrete, um, what they do with the concrete, so the hurricane escape message. Right now, we do not have specific dates for the business openings, but Mayor Krause tells me that he believes they will be open this season. In Surfside Beach, Julia Richardson, WMBF News. Surfside Beach town leaders also decided to have a verbal peer rededication at the grand opening ceremony without a new plaque.